Hey Virgo, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading. This will be for the first half of June. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon Rising, also Venus. Um, because it's general, it will not resonate with all you Virgos out there. Do check your Moon and Rising sign for additional messages, all right? So let's hop into this reading, um, Virgo. Let's see what messages are coming out for you guys. Um, I am starting out with a surrender deck. So let's see what you guys need to surrender and let go of um, for the first half of June. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, hit that notification button, the Virgo, so you guys can know when I upload um, or when I post to the channel. If you guys would love to follow me on social media, I am on IG, Facebook, and on Instant Go as Fire Intuition. If you guys would love to block, um, I said block with me. Uh, if you guys would love to <laughs> book with me, <laughs> um, fireintuition.com. All right, Virgo? So let's see what's coming in. I feel like you guys have someone blocked or someone blocked you because I don't know why that came out. <laughs> um, so let's see. You guys have surrendered to play. I think Leo had that one in their um, June reading for the first half. And we have surrender your fear of change, okay? So let's see what's coming in for you, Virgo, as far as these messages, all right? So we have take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreating, no, recreation and rejuvenation. So it's time for you guys to surrender to play, okay? It's time for you guys to get out, play, have fun, enjoy life. Um, don't keep yourself stuck, maybe working on a project, maybe you're overworking, maybe you guys been working a lot and it's time to just be in a playful energy. Um, and it's also seeing like by you guys being playful and being open, it's going to help you guys rejuvenate um, and also be um, creative, like more creative. So coming back even better with whatever you're working on as far as your project, idea, work, whatever this is, okay? And then we have um, surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if you fear aging or death, Repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo. Sorry about that. So I just feel like with this right here, it's telling you guys that it's time for you guys to surrender your fear of change and to allow change to happen into your life. You know, like don't be scared to make some type of change. Um, like it says, whether it's work or relationship, um, it can be a lot of different things, okay? So it's time for change, all right, um, Virgo? It's time for you guys to do something different. Um, and just go with the flow, you know, like just allow it to happen. Allow this change to happen. Maybe it's meant to be, maybe it's meant to happen, okay? Whatever this is, all right? Sorry, I had to get my sanitizer out, even though I didn't sneeze in my hand, but um, yeah. All right, so yeah, um, Virgo, so surrender your fear of change, all right? Let this happen. The affirmation it says again is, I have faith that all is well, okay? So love it. So let's hop into this love reading. Let's see what we have um, coming in for you guys. Let it be great, Virgo. Let's see what messages are coming in. All right, love messages for the sign of Virgo and love first half of June. Love messages for Virgo, first half of June. What's coming in for Virgo, first half of June, and love? Love messages for Virgo, first half of June. We have the High Priestess in reverse. So you guys can be dealing with a Pisces, but you guys are blocked. Like, your intuition is blocked. Um... You're you're kind of feeling lost right now with this high priestess in reverse or some type of truth is coming out. Some secret is being revealed. Um, yep, see the moon. That's the challenge. Um, damn, you guys can be dealing with a Pisces um, for sure or a Cancer, but definitely double Pisces energy. Something is coming out. Some type of truth is being revealed. Some type of secret. That's the challenge. You're trying to figure out what it is or you're wanting to know what's going on with this moon here. Damn, Pisces. I mean, not Pisces, damn Virgo. So, yeah, some of you guys might be dealing with a Pisces for sure. 
All right, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse um, for what's on your mind. So more water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this person or someone is trying to come back or you're wanting someone to come back. But at the same time, with this energy here, I feel as if you guys are in an energy where you're just like, you know what? I don't know if they should come back. Maybe I should keep moving forward. You know, you don't want to make a mistake by allowing them back into your life. But there's something going on. There's some type of secret here. Eight of Cups in reverse. Someone's trying to come back in or you want someone to come back. But there's a lie here or there's some type of secret here. We have the Ten of Pentacles for what's in your foundation. Okay. So Ten of Pentacles is, this is a relationship. This is commitment, marriage. Some of you guys are married. If not, you see yourself marrying this person. This is someone that you guys want to be with long term. Okay, with this Ten of Pentacles here. Um, you guys can have children. Maybe your families know each other. Um, but if not, like the Ten of Pentacles, you want to build with this person. Like I said, you want to have children, marriage. Um, or that's what they've been telling you. But I feel like you guys just don't trust what they're saying. All right? We have the Five of Wands. And we have judgment here. This is in the recent past. So I feel like in the recent past, you guys put an ending to conflict and tension between you guys. The five of wands with judgment is telling me that you guys were fighting for someone because someone had someone else or you were with someone else. And you got tired of that and they caught judgment. They made some type of decision in the past or you forgave this person in the past, hoping that they were going to let go of someone else. Or that's what they told you. And I feel like that's why the moon is here. You went in this kind of lost, trusting them. Only for them to let you down again. So in the near future, we do have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> See, I can't talk. Mm. Damn, Virgo. They lied to you that bad. Shit. Yeah. We have the Seven of Swords. Could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay? They're still doing the same thing. You know? Um, are they going to get caught? caught up oh yep see look the knight of cups in reverse and you guys know i don't usually take two cards but this is how the cards are coming out flying out okay we have the king of cups in reverse with the seven of swords they're still in still in that same energy all right so let's see how you see yourself the seven of pentacles so you see yourself as a seven of pentacles fully invested in this you know, wanting to invest, like you, you put a lot of work into this. For some of you guys, you just don't want to give up because you put so much into this relationship and you're wanting to work through the problems that you guys are having or whatever issues you guys are having. You're wanting to work through them because you have put a lot into this relationship and not wanting to give up, All right? How they see you is a three of pentacles. Yeah, they see the hard work that you put into this. They see that you do want to build this, okay? Some of you guys can work with this person, but if not three of pentacles, they see that you want this partnership, you want to build, you want to have something with them. Like, you're ready to put plans in action. You're ready to plan the future. You're ready to have this Ten of Pentacles with them, all right? Um, now, in your hopes and fears, we have the World card in reverse, okay? And you fear that this is going to be another lesson. There is unfinished business here between you guys, all right? Um, the World card in reverse can also be someone that's stubborn. It's stagnant energy. That's you being disappointed, okay? Um... It's a lack of a com of completion. Like, so like I said, it's unfinished business or there's a lesson here, okay? Um, and let's see what the potential outcome is. The two of pinnacles, okay, is the potential outcome. So weighing up your options, making a decision. There could possibly be some rekindling here with the two of pinnacles. Maybe you guys are going to work it out and rekindle this, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, look what we have. We have the Empress in reverse, Okay, so I mean, with the Empress coming up in reverse for the overall energy, I just feel like for some of you guys, how you guys are feeling, it's like the Empress in reverse, like she can be nagging at times because she has loved and nurtured the relationship so much. She's put a lot of, you know, energy and effort into the relationship. Um, so I feel like they might be viewing you as like smothering or nagging or, you know, um, wanting their full attention and they feel like they can't give that to you because they are committed to someone else. Or with someone else. For others of you, it's like with this Empress in Reverse for the overall energy, you just became uncaring. Like you're, you just don't care anymore. Or you're starting to show them that you just don't care as much as you did before. Because like I said, with that Royal card in Reverse, you just think it's another lesson. And you just feel like they're coming back into your life. And you know, they're promising you like, okay, everything's going to be great. We're going to work things out. We're going to get through this. But at the same time, where is it going? Okay. Um... For some of you guys with this Empress in Reverse coming up, I feel like um, maybe you just love this person too much. 
um, or maybe you just express or give this person way too much of your love and you are suppressing how you feel when it comes to them because you don't want to let go of the connection or you don't want them to let go of you, okay? Or you don't want to let this go, period, in general. And you're coming up as the Empress in reverse, okay? You're forgetting all about you and what makes you happy, all right? Um, so let's definitely hop in. Um, let's clarify. Um, that can definitely change things, um, Virgo. And yeah, let's see what we get. Let's see what's coming in. All right, so. I don't know, Virgo. Let's see. All right, so let's see. Why is the moon the challenge here for um, Virgo? Why is the moon here for Virgo as a challenge? Clear by the moon. Justice. Some of you guys can be waiting for a divorce and they're lying to you about it. Um, justice could, is here because they're um, with the high priestess reversing the moon. They're not being so honest about um, what's going on. But let's see. Going to justice, the empress. See, she's still in the upright. And that's what's going on. They're still in this relationship. They're still married. They're committed still. And that's why we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're stressed out. If they're not married, it's just a mother or child or someone that they've been with for a long time. You know, um, and that's why the moon is here. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, if, um, if they are going through a divorce or a separation or a breakup or something like that, the empress is wanting justice and she's making it difficult for you and your person to move forward. So she's just going to be a pain in the ass and be difficult because she wants justice because she doesn't want out of the relationship and this other person does. So she's going to make it as difficult as she can to get what she wants because she wants justice out of this. Yep, see the seven of pentacles. She's going to get what she put in it just like you are putting into this relationship. So she's going to get every, like she she wants what she wants, seven of pentacles. Okay, she feels as if um, with a hermit, okay, like my person's going to leave me, you know, to be with someone else, you know, why not get them for all that they got? And that's why I feel like for some of you guys, the situation has been prolonged or it's just moving slow because with the ten of pentacles, they have, they're going to lose a lot or they have a lot to lose. All right, so let's see why the eight of cups is in reverse. This is what's on your mind. Um, Virgo, why is the eight of cups in reverse for what's on your mind? Yep, see, Queen of Wands reverse. You're tired of being a third party. The Queen of Wands reverse, yeah. You're tired of just having sex with them. You're tired of being a third party. Um, and if they come back, you want more than that. You want to be more than just the Queen of Wands energy in reverse. All right, so let's see what else we got. Ace of Pentacles, you want commitment. You want an offer. King of Swords, you want this person to make a decision and be honest with you about what it is they want. And that's what's on your mind. And if they're not coming with coming towards you correct or coming towards you telling you what you want to hear, then I feel like you're not going to let them back in for some of you guys. All right? Now let's see why this Ten of Pentacles is in your foundation. Why the Ten of Pentacles in your foundation, Virgo? The Lover's Card. So they're making the, like, someone's dis making the decision to be with you. Could be a Gemini, all right? They're choosing you like they want to be with you. That King of Swords could be a Gemini. Going to the Lover's card. Why is the Lover's card here? The Chariot in reverse, and we have the High Priestess in reverse. Oh, but see, that energy is coming back up again. So again, with the High Priestess coming up in reverse, like I said, there's just, like, something's going on here with this High Priestess coming up in reverse. So it's like, you're not seeing something. You're blinded to something. There's some type of secret that needs to come out. We do have the chariot coming up in reverse as well, Cancer and Pisces energy. But the chariot in reverse is like, um, it's, um, how can I say it? It's like stagnation. You know, it's like, um, I feel like with this chariot in reverse, either they feel like you're overreacting when it comes to the situation and with the chariot coming up in reverse, um they're like hiding from you or wanting to escape escape this situation between you guys like you know like they're hiding or running away from the situation because they really do want to be with you and right now they can't give you everything you're wanting so with the high priestess in reverse in the chariot in reverse i feel like they're like dodging you okay um i also feel like with this um chariot um in reverse they're putting on a facade Okay, for some of you guys, Six of Swords Reverse. For a few of you guys, they might go back to that person or them. Okay, so for a few of you guys, they might go back to that person or their person. All right, let me go back. Okay, so for a few of you guys, whoever they're dealing with, they decided to take some time apart to heal. 
okay, to see where this can go. And they might have blocked you out, even though this is what they want with you, Ten of Pentacles and a Lover's card. And you guys aren't talking. For others of you, you could have overreacted or, um, or you're just angry, you're mad because it's not moving forward. And they're just like, you know what, I'm already in a shitty situation and I'm not going to go from leaving that person and dealing with that to being with you and dealing with the same thing. So not wanting to feel stuck with this Six of Swords reversed. And then for others of you, um, I feel as if this person is putting on a facade with the chariot in reverse and telling you that they're not happy and that they're ready to leave that person. But even though this is in your foundation, the Ten of Pentacles and the Lovers, and that's how you're feeling, I feel like they're lying because they're really happy in their relationship, but um, still messing around with you. Okay? So let's see why um, Judgment in the Five of Wands is here in the recent past. Um, clarify Judgment. This clip over. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so you guys weren't talking and you guys um, started back talking. Um, let's see. The hangman. So you guys took a break or there was a breakup. You guys came back together, start talking again. Um, you forgave them. Things were good. Then you guys stopped talking again. Then you guys start talking back again. So this was something that was on and off. Um, let's see why the king of cups in the seven of swords is here in the near future. The fool and the four of wands. See, that's what I'm saying. This person is lying to you. They're going to start over with their person. Okay, the fool and the four of wands. Especially if they're married, they're going to start over. Or they're going to, um, yeah, they're going to start over in their um, marriage or their long-term relationship. You know, the fool is like, okay, let's have a clean slate. Let's start over. Let's, you know, let go of the past and let's focus on us in this new beginning. Okay? And that's why this energy is stagnant down here. Okay, um, so let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here for how you see yourself. The Ten of Cups. See, and you see yourself as investing, waiting, being patient because you want your ultimate happiness with this person. This person completes you. They make you feel whole. Um, why is the Ten of Cups here? The King of Cups in reverse. See, that's who you're waiting for, this King of Cups in reverse. But they're lying and they're playing both sides. So they're telling you that they're going to be with you but making up in their marriage. And that's why we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right? So be careful, um, Virgo. Um, so let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles here for um, how they see you. The Queen of Cups in reverse, see? And I feel like um, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, you guys are definitely in your feelings in the past. You guys told this person how you felt. Queen of Cups in reverse is also like codependency. You told this person you're waiting, you want to be with them. And it's, and I'm not trying to say it like this, but for some of you guys, it's like they have you actually putting plans in action and doing the work and having you think that you guys are going to get together. But I don't feel like that's going to be the case. Yep, see, Eight of Swords. They're going to let you down. Give me one sec. All right, sorry, Virgo. But they have you totally blindfolded to whatever's going on because you're coming up as a Queen of Cups in reverse. So your emotions have already got the best of you. Then we have this Eight of Swords here. And you're very vulnerable. And I feel like they've told you, like, yeah, they, you know, do this, do that. We're coming back together. Yada, yada, yada. And I would just be careful. Now, if you're married to this person, then they're leaving their, they're leaving the third party to be with you. Like, you guys are going to work it out. All right? So, let's see why the world is in reverse. And this is in your hopes and fears. Why is the world card in reverse for Virgo? Yep, see, we have the emperor. And that's what I'm saying. There's unfinished business. And the, what's, what's, um, what is unfinished is the fact that they're still with that person, still in that commitment, still married, still in that long-term relationship. Um, the emperor could be someone that is stubborn, okay? And you're just going to be disappointed um, by their actions because they're showing up as the emperor in the upright, but you're going to be disappointed um, by their actions with this world card in reverse, all right? Yep, see, we have the devil. Yep, they're stuck in their ways, not changing. Lying, full of shit, could be a Capricorn, could be an Aries, all right? And then we have the world card in reverse, so fixed energy, fixed signs, all right? So let's see why the Two of Pentacles is the potential outcome. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Virgo um, for the potential outcome? We have the Five of Cups in reverse, and there's a possible reconciliation here, Um We have the death card. So it's like you guys are going to reconcile only to end it. Because we have the two of pentacles 
and we have the five of cups here but look at the five of the cups every cup is dry you like there's no emotions in none of these cups see and i'm not trying to put it up there like that but there's no emotions left it's a couple of teardrops you know and i'm just being honest and it's like you're gonna reconcile with them and, and take them back but with the death card scorpio energy they could be a scorpio you're just gonna end it because you're gonna see like you know like we're not moving forward or they're gonna tell you that they can't be with you because they're reconciling with someone else and they're gonna end it with you yep see two of wands um and the ten of wands saturn's here this was a karmic lesson that's why we have the world card in reverse yep and this has been weighing heavy on you or this has been this one heavy cycle relationship or whatever it is and it's time for you guys to you know make that decision to walk away for some of you guys they're going to cut it off with you um for others of you you're going to cut it off with them but um i just see this ending you know so they're going to get you all worked up to you know have you think you guys are coming back together only to let you down again all right so let's see why the empress is reversed and that's why this empress is in reverse so it makes sense you know i see why you guys are tired let's see why is the empress in reverse Clarify the Empress in reverse for Virgo. Yep, see the Three of Wands reverse. There's no growth here. You're tired of it. You know, you feel blocked. There's no growth. Um, we have the Queen of Swords, the World Card reverse, and the Higher Font. See, and we have the Queen of Swords, and they're staying with their person, okay? Um, and then we have the World Card reverse and the Higher Font reverse. Like I said, unfinished business is for the lesson. The Higher Font reverse, they're still in their marriage or commitment, and they're cheating and still lying. And that's why you feel like this. That's why you are the Empress in reverse. All right. And some of them are going to try to blame it on you. Like, well, if you weren't so pushy and so nagging or if you would have gave me time, yep, then I would have offered you something. But the Page of Pentacles, you waited all that time for the Page of Pentacles. Is it really worth it? And that's where you're going to be even more upset at um, or upset about. Okay. So let's pull your Romance Angels, Virgo. And let's see what we got. Romance Angels for Virgo. Something puts over. Make the effort. All right. So we have chemistry. Make the effort. For some of you guys, this is karmic, and that's what was drawing you back to this person, the chemistry. We have the honeymoon card. See, that's what's happening. You guys are going to have some type of honeymoon moment where you guys are coming back together. Things are so great and peachy. Chemistry. Things are going to be hot and passionate. We're, we're like, okay, we're getting back together. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they're going to change your mind and want to work it out with someone else. So with the honeymoon card, we have, see the three of cups. There's going to be some type of reunion. You guys are coming back together. Could be with a water sign. Okay. Um, and you guys are coming back together celebrating. All right. Um, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. With that, we have the two of cups. Some of you guys are soulmates. Yes, it's karmic. Or there's just a lot of karmic energy here. Okay. Um. For others of you, you feel different about this person, meaning like you have a lot of love or feelings towards them that they do you. Um, and then we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And with that, we have see justice in reverse. They're not making the effort. It could be a Libra that's doing this to you. See, so they're still lying, not being honest. All right. So let's see what we got. Yep, see the star. They might be starting over with an Aquarius or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. That really deep that really needs to heal and that doesn't know what they really want and um it's just not time for you guys to move forward okay um let's pull some additional messages for you and then we'll pull your healing oracle all right so messages for virgo what's coming in for virgo first half of june We have seven of emotion, all right? Your angels are asking you to make a, no, make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating, so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So you guys are making a decision based on guilt. Um, and the reason why I said that is because that's the seven of cups. I feel like you guys have been ready to detach yourself or you see how this person is and you're wanting to let go, but then you don't want to hurt them because they keep telling you, like, oh, I love you, I want to be with you, that it's all going to work out, have faith, trust that it's going to happen. But at the same time, you know that it's not or you just feel like it's not. I feel like for some of you guys, you're not even trying to think negative. You just see the pattern, all right? 
Next we have um, AW Motion. You feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in this world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or, um, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out the magical new, seek out your magical new life. So this is the Eight of Cups walking away, not looking back, discovering something new, ready for new opportunities to come in. All right. Um, for some of you guys with this Seven and Eight of Cups, maybe you have been lost emotionally because you guys were coming up as that Queen of Cups in reverse. And um, maybe you guys have missed out on some opportunities. And you're just like, you know what, it's time for me to focus on my career. It's time for me to move, you know, stuff like that. Let's see what else we have. And we have Six of Abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. So that's like the six of wands. So you guys have a lot of abundance, victory, and success coming towards you guys. All right? So that's really good. So let's look at this um, seven of emotion. Yeah, I see the hanged unicorn. So it's time for you guys to um, take some time and really think about this and make a decision. Okay? It could be with the Pisces. You guys have a lot of Pisces in this um, reading, Pisces energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords, Eight of Emotion. Yeah, so it's time for you guys to, you know, leave this situation. You guys are very scattered. You guys are definitely in your feelings about the whole situation. You know, part of you guys want this person to rush in and make some type of change, but it's just not happening. And then we have the um, Six of Abundance. And with that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you guys, if you guys were to walk away from this, it's going to bring a lot of abundance and a lot of change into your life. Because um, you guys, I feel like, are blocked with abundance coming in because you're blocked emotionally by this situation or in this relationship. So it looks like abundance and new stuff is coming in once you free yourself from this situation, all right? So let's pull your Healing Yourself Oracle and let's see what you guys need to heal at this time, all right? Message for Virgo. What does Virgo need to heal at this time? Message for Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. So I'm going to take the one at the bottom. This is the one that fell first. Um, and we have number six cycles. All right. So let's see what this is all about. So you guys need to heal cycles. Number six. All right, so we have life. Oh, life sometimes. Oh, no, life is cynical. Sometimes things flow and at other times they slow down. What cycle of life are you in right now? What is the one area of your life where you need to focus most of your energy? Is it time for you to focus on your family? Do you need alone time to discover your true purpose? Do you yearn to open your heart and love fully, deeply and passionately? Is it time? No, is this the time for healing? Maybe you are completely ready to concentrate on your life purpose and put all your energy and effort into making your dreams a reality. Each cycle you encounter offers you fresh gifts and possibilities to learn and grow. The better you become at identifying the cycle you are in, the more flow and harmony you will experience in the choices you make, all right? So you guys are definitely going through a cycle. Um, this was definitely one hell of a cycle, but this cycle was meant to um, help you guys grow, okay? So definitely loving that, all right? And that's what you guys need to heal, all right? So I love you much, Virgo, all right? And I will talk to you guys again soon, all right? If you guys want to book with me, fireintuition.com, all right? Bye, Virgo.